here it is, board's done. Actually turned out pretty sick. So today we're just gonna spray it. I'm going for like a 70s Zephyr Dogtown inspired spray mixed with a skull drawing and then like a laser zap. Had a sick day with DH in the bay shaping this thing. Took me through how to do the channels, worked on the bottom. I definitely made some errors so he helped me, you know, just iron them out. He put a really nice rail on it. Single fin, gonna draw out some big turns when I'm back in the water. It's gonna be real fun, I'm frothing. So I'm doing a little rail spray to start off. It's gonna be like a top side fade out. I'm just taping up the bottom side because I'm gonna do my drawing here, so I wanna keep the bottom all nice and crispy white. Bottom's taped, we're gonna hit it with a rail spray now. I'm going to start drawing, I'm doing a skull on the bottom, outline with pencil first, hit it with the pens, and do a little bit of an airbrush, hit some gills and stuff, trip in. Brush now. I'm gonna do this black long streaky hair and I'm gonna incorporate it, do a little tape job and incorporate the channels into the into the locks. Back in the day I the old surfboards, put the single fins that all had airbrushes. You know, artwork, it just looks so cool. I thought you know what, no one's really doing it anymore. I was just dabble in it. I love drawing so Try it airbrushing. Airbrush is all done. Got the sick fade of the hair into the channels. It's gonna be dope, I can't wait to ride this thing. And now I'm doing a little top deck stencil arrow checkers. Just gonna have a crack, see where it goes. Alright, so I just hit it again with the airbrush. Just to get a couple different other lines. It's that satisfying pulling that tape off. That feels pretty sick. There it is. Metal inspired skull into channel fade with a 1980s laser zap slash zephyr airbrush on the top. So the next stage is glassing and then we're gonna go shred. Mm -hmm. 